Two years after a crash claimed the lives of two people, we've learned the families of the victims have filed a wrongful death lawsuit saying the Newport Pell Bridge is a danger to the public. Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Sullivan obtained all the important details from court documents today. She joins us in our newsroom with what she's uncovered. We got our hands on the wrongful death lawsuit that was filed in Superior Court. In it, it claims the state failed to address a public danger, the lack of median barriers on the Pell Bridge. Two years later, and the families of Kenny Pryor and Kathy Munier are begging for a barrier. I want some of it to come out of a rather tragic accident, which was exactly two years ago tonight. It was a Friday night. David's brother Kenny was riding home with Kathy Munier from work when tragedy struck. A teenage driver veered across the median on the Pell Bridge and into the opposite lanes of traffic, hitting Kathy and Kenny head on. They both died. The teenage driver of the other car survived. The families of the two victims claim their lives could have been saved if the bridge had median barriers. We reached out to all three parties being sued, the Rhode Island DOT, the state of Rhode Island, and the Rhode Island Bridge and Turnpike Authority. The Turnpike and Bridge Authority responded to us by stating its board began researching the need for a barrier in 2005. Two times the authority applied for federal grants to have the medians installed, and both times the funding was denied. Chairman David Darlington says, quote, even if the Tiger grants had been successfully procured, no barriers would have been erected prior to 2015. While David knows that wouldn't have changed the outcome of the tragic night in October of 2011, he will continue to beg for a barrier so this doesn't happen to someone else's family member. We're going to do whatever we can to do the right thing and install the barrier to save other lives. That's, that's what this lawsuit is all about. Now I spoke to Kathy's husband on the phone. He tells me he was just too upset to talk to us on camera. He did say, however, he was looking to put up a monument in honor of his wife, he says, but the most appropriate monument would be barriers on the bridge. Reporting in the newsroom, Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.